Hi students, welcome to Shiju's educational channel. Today we are going to see the previous year questions of S2 complementary mathematics. We will be discussing the questions from lengths of plane curves. So let's start. Lengths of plane curves. If f is smooth on closed interval a b, the length of the curve y equal to f of x from a to b is given by L is equal to integral a to b root of 1 plus dy by dx whole square dx. If f is a smooth function on closed interval a b. Smooth function means a function is said to be smooth if it has a continuous first derivatives. If it has continuous first derivative. Okay. On closed interval a b then the length of this function y equal to f of x from a to b is given by we can use the formula L is equal to integral a to b root of 1 plus dy by dx whole square dx. Second equation. If the equation of the curve is given as x is equal to g of y. The function is of the form x is equal to g of y. C less than or equal to y less than or equal to d. Then its length can be evaluated using the formula L is equal to integral c to d root of 1 plus dx by dy whole square dy. Okay. If the equation of the curve is given as x is equal to g of y and y lies between c and d then the length can be calculated or evaluated using the formula L is equal to integral c to d root of 1 plus dx by dy whole square dy. First problem, find the length of the curve y equal to 4 root 2 by 3 into x raised to 3 by 2 minus 1. 0 less than or equal to x less than or equal to 1. Here we have to find the length of this curve y equal to 4 root 2 by 3 x raised to 3 by 2 minus 1. Okay, We know that length L is equal to integral a to b root of 1 plus dy by dx whole square dx. Okay, First we find dy by dx. dy by dx is equal to d by dx of here y is 4 root 2 divided by 3 x raised to 3 by 2 minus 1. Okay, That is equal to v right here. 4 root 2 by 3 into d by dx of the function x raised to 3 by 2. Okay. Then minus d by dx of 1. Okay. That is equal to we write 4 root 2 divided by 3. Here it is of the form d by dx of x raised to n. We know that d by dx of x raised to n is equal to n into x raised to n minus 1. So we write here 3 by 2 into x raised to 3 by 2 minus 1. Okay. Minus d by dx of 1 is 0. Okay. Then that is equal to we write 4 root 2 divided by 3 into 3 by 2. Here x raised to 3 by 2 minus 1. That is we write x raised to 1 by 2. Okay. Then here 3, 3 get cancelled and 2 cancel with 4 we get 2. Okay. That is we write 2 root 2 x raised to 1 by 2. Now we get dy by dx is equal to 2 root 2 x raised to 1 by 2. Next we find dy by dx whole square. dy by dx whole square is equal to 2 root 2 x raised to 1 by 2 whole square. Okay. That is we write 2 square 4 root 2 square into 2 x raised to 1 by 2 whole square that is x. We get 8x. Okay. That is dy by dx whole square is equal to 8x. Next we find 1 plus dy by dx whole square. Okay. 1 plus dy by dx whole square is equal to equal to 1 plus. Here dy by dx whole square is 8x. So we write 8x. Okay. Then L is equal to. We know that L is equal to integral a to b. That is here x value 0 to 1. So we write here 0 to 1. Root of 1 plus dy by dx whole square. Here 1 plus dy by dx whole square is 1 plus 8x. So we write root of 1 plus 8x. Okay. Next we find the value of this integral. Okay. So first we put 1 plus 8x is equal to u. Okay. Then differentiate both sides we get a to dx equal to du. That is dx is equal to du by 8. Okay. Here u equal to 1 plus 8x. Okay. So first we put x is equal to 0 corresponding u equal to 
1 plus 8 into 0 that is equal to 1. Okay. When x is equal to 0, u equal to 1. When x is equal to 1, x is equal to 1, u equal to 1 plus 8 into 1 that is equal to 9. Okay. Then we can write it as integral. Here uh, x value is 0. So we write u value 1 here. 1 to u value 9. Okay. Then root of. Here 1 plus 8x is u. So we write root u. Here dx we write du by 8. du by 8. Okay. That is equal to we take 1 by 8 outside. 1 by 8 integral. 1 to 9. u raised to. We write root u as u raised to 1 by 2 du. u raised to 1 by 2. We know that integral x raised to n dx is equal to x raised to n plus 1 divided by n plus 1 plus c. So we write here u raised to 1 by 2 plus 1 divided by 1 by 2 plus 1 give the limit that is 1 to 9. Okay. That is equal to we write 1 by 8. Here u raised to 1 by 2 plus 1. That is u raised to 3 by 2. Okay. Divided by 3 by 2. 1 to 9. Okay. That is equal to we write 1 by 8. Taking 2 by 3 outside we write 2 by 3. Then u raised to 3 by 2. Okay. 1 to 9. That is we write. Here we write 2 divided by 24. Okay. Then we apply the limit. Upper limit minus lower limit. That is uh, here we get 9 raised to. 3 by 2 minus 1 raised to 3 by 2. Okay. That is we write 2 by 24. Okay. Then here we write 9 raised to 1 by 2 whole cube. Okay. Minus 1. That is we write 2 by 24 into here 9 raised to 1 by 2 is 3. That means root 9. Okay. Root 9 is 3. We get 3 cube minus 1. Okay. Here we cut 1 times and here 12 times. That is we get 1 by 12 into here 3 cube. 27 minus 1. That is we write 1 by 12 into 26. That is equal to we write here uh, into 1, 3 divided by 6. Okay. 13 divided by 6. Length of the given curve is equal to 13 by 6. Clear? Next question. Find the length of the curve y equal to x by 2 whole raised to 2 by 3 from x is equal to 0 to x is equal to 2. Okay. So we have to find the length of this curve. Okay. First we find dy by dx. That is dy by dx is equal to. We write d by dx of x by 2 whole raised to 2 by 3. It is of the form d by dx of x raised to n. So we write it as n into x raised to n minus 1. So we write here 2 by 3 into x by 2 all raised to 2 by 3 minus 1. We use chain rule. We write d by dx of x by 2. Okay. That is equal to we write 2 by 3 into here x by 2 all raised to 2 minus 3 by 3. That is negative 1 by 3. Here d by dx of x by 2 is 1 by 2. Okay. 2, 2 get cancelled. We get 1 by 3 into x by 2 all raised to negative 1 by 3. That is we write 1 by 3 into 2 by x whole raised to 1 by 3. Now we get dy by dx is equal to 1 by 3 into 2 by x whole raised to 1 by 3. dy by dx cannot define at x is equal to 0. So we cannot use dy by dx for finding the length of the curve. So we use another formula using dx by dy. Okay. The formula L is equal to integral c to d root of 1 plus dx by dy whole square into dy. So given curve y equal to x by 2 whole raised to 2 by 3. From this we write x is equal to okay. So that we write y raised to 3 by 2 equal to x by 2. That is that implies x is equal to we write 2 into y raised to 3 by 2. Find the y values. When x is equal to 0 we get y is equal to here 0 by 2 that is 0 y equal to 0. Uh, then uh, next x is equal to 2. We write y is equal to here 2 by 2. Or raised to 2 by 3. That is 1 raised to 2 by 3. We get 1. Okay. Then the value of uh, y lies between 0 to 1. Next we find dx by dy. Okay. dx by dy is equal to here. dx by dy we write 2 into d by dy of 
y raised to 3 by 2. By 2 into here d by dy of y raised to 3 by 2 we write 3 by 2 into y raised to 3 by 2 minus 1. That is here 2 2 get cancelled we get 3 into here y raised to 3 by 2 minus 1 we can write 3 minus 2 by 3 that is raised to 1 by 2. Now we get dx by dy is equal to 3 into y raised to 1 by 2. Next we find dx by dy whole square. That is we write dx by dy whole square is equal to we write here 3 square that is 9. y raised to 1 by 2 whole square is y. Okay. Substitute the value of dx by dy in this equation. That is we write integral here c to d. We write the y value 0 to 1. That is we write 0 to 1 root of 1 plus. Here dx by dy whole square we write 9y. 9y dy. Here we put 1 plus 9y is equal to u. Differentiate both sides we get 9 dy is equal to du. That is dy is equal to du by 9. Okay. Also change the limit. We get here uh, when y is equal to 0 corresponding u is equal to 1 plus 9 into 0. That is 1. Okay. And next y when y equal to 1 it is corresponding u is equal to 1 plus 9. 9 into 1 that is equal to 10. Okay. Then we write it as integral here 1 to 10. We give the limit 1 to 10. Then 1 plus 9 by is u. So we write root u. dy here is du by 9. So we write here into du by 9. Okay. We are taking 1 by 9 outside. Okay. Integral 1 to 10. We write uh, root u as u raised to 1 by 2 du. That is equal to we write 1 by 9 into it is of the form integral x raised to n that is x raised to n plus 1 divided by n plus 1. So we write here u raised to 1 by 2 plus 1 divided by 1 by 2 plus 1 limit 1 to 10. Okay that is we write 1 by 9 into here u raised to 3 by 2 okay divided by 3 by 2 1 to 10 that is we write 1 by 9, 2 by 3 into u raised to 3 by 2, 1 to 10. That is we write 1 by 9 into 2 by 3, okay, u raised to 3 by 2, 1 to 10. That is we write here, this is equal to 1 into 2, 2 divided by 27, okay. Right here, 10 raised to 3 by 2 minus 1 raised to 3 by 2 that is 10 raised to 3 by 2 minus 1 raised to 3 by 2 that is 1. Okay. Next problem find the length of the curve x is equal to 1 by 3 y cube plus 1 by 4 y from y equal to 1 to y equal to 3. Okay. The given curve is x is equal to 1 by 3 y cube plus 1 by 4 y. Here we use the second formula for finding length of this curve. Okay. And that is, first we find dx by dy equal to, okay, we write 1 by 3 into d by dy of y cube, okay, plus 1 by 4 into d by dy of 1 by y. That is equal to, we write 1 by 3 into here, y cube, we write 3y square, okay, plus here 1 by 4 into, we write, we write 1 by y as y raised to minus 1. So we differentiate we get negative 1 into y raised to minus 2. That is here 3, 3 get cancelled. We write y square. Here uh, positive and negative. Negative we get here. Here 1 by 4 y square. Th here 3, 3 get cancelled. We get write y square minus okay 1 by 4. Here we write it as 1 by y square that is. 1 by 4 y square. Now we get dx by dy is equal to y square minus 1 by 4 y square. Also find dx by dy whole square. Okay. That is equal to we write y square minus 1 by 4 y square whole square. Next we find 1 plus dx by dy whole square. That is equal to 1 plus. We know that dx by dy whole square is y square minus 1 by 4 y square whole square. After arranging this we get it as y square plus 1 by 4 y square whole square. Okay. Then root of 1 plus dx by dy whole square is equal to 
taking root we get y square plus 1 by 4 y square okay formula l is equal to integral c to d root of 1 plus dx by dy whole square dy substitute the value here we get integral here y value is 1 to 3 so we write 1 to 3 and then root of 1 plus dx by dy whole square is y square plus 1 by 4 y square dy okay that is equal to here we integrate first integral of y square is y cube divided by 3 okay then plus here 1 by 4 into here we write 1 by y square as y raised to minus 2 that is we get y raised to minus 2 plus 1 divided by minus 2 plus 1 and give the limit okay 1 2 3 that is equal to we write y cube divided by 3 okay then here we get plus 1 by 4 y raised to minus 1 divided by minus 1 1 2 3 that is equal to we write y cube by 3 okay here negative 1 by 4 y okay y raised to minus 1 we write uh, 1 by y so we write here y cube by 3 minus 1 by 4 y 1 2 3 okay then up give upper limit minus lower limit we get here 3 cube divided by 3 minus 1 by 4 into 3 minus of here 1 uh, 1 cube that is 1 by 3 minus 1 by 4 into 1 that is 1 by 4 that is we write here 3 get cancel we get uh, 3 square that is 9 minus 1 by 12 okay calculate we get 1 by 12 that is we get 9 minus 2 by 12 that is equal to we write cross multiplying we get 108 minus 2 divided by 12 that is 106 divided by 12 that is equal to 53 by 6 okay